sports. What could be better than kicking back on a Sunday afternoon watching the NBA? Hi, everyone. Here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. Well, Anthony Davis grew up in Chicago during the Jordan years, so is that why he wears number 23? He said, quote, I wore number three in grade school. In high school, I asked for that number. Coach said, you'll get whatever I give you out of this bag. He grabbed out a jersey and threw it to me, and it was number 23. Guys, AD said, that'll work. No doubt. Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. Well, Grant, everyone is excited for this season opening contest. That includes the fans, but even more so the players. Well, there's nothing like a season opening contest. Yeah, both teams would love to kick things off with a big win. So expect to see them giving their all on the floor here tonight. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. Xavier Tillman is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Morant in at the one. And for Los Angeles, we've got Anthony Davis. LeBron James out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. Now here's Russell, six on the shot clock. The rebound by Jackson. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Here's Brooks. Goes back up. Jackson can't get it to go. Davis, the pass to Jane. Here's Russell. That fall. Yeah, nice Angelo. feed that time from James. Nice reaction by D'Angelo to the defense sagging back. Just drops in the simple floater there. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Three-pointer Brooks. Pure from three-point range. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Reeves. against Russell. Shoots over Moran, and it falls. Yeah, Two for Russell three from the field so far. Boy, you look at Russell repeatedly making plays around the rim. His imagination and creativity allow him to do so. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Tillman. Shoots over Davis. Tillman misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three from the floor. Davis down low. He's against Tillman. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion, may have put him over the top. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. And he sinks the second. And for the Lakers, Clark, the last decade, they haven't been as impressive. Well, you know, B.A., there's a reason for that. They've missed more playoff games in the last decade than the franchise's entire existence. And a lot of it has been due to injuries. There's no lack of talent. LeBron took on the challenge, bringing the championship in the 19 and 20 season. But last year did not turn out as they were expecting. And a big part of it was injuries and really trying to adjust to new personnel. Here's Reeves. Davis misses. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the wild. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. I mean, during his first playoffs, Dylan Brooks proved he was a big game player, pouring in 31 in his playoff debut, an upset win over Utah. Dylan Brooks, two shots.
Free throw dropped for Brooks. You know, talking about Dylan Brooks, also great in those first ever play-in games, Graham. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the Grizzlies making the playoffs, winning two games. Brooks was outstanding in a win at Golden State, locking down the Warriors on the perimeter. And Brooks drops them both. For Los Angeles, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Outside Russell. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Back to James. Over Brooks. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. James clearly one of the best offensive talents of all time in the NBA. A special score with what seems to be a limitless arsenal. Now here's Moran. Pass to Bain. Three-pointer, Brooks. Vanderbilt pulls it in. The Lakers have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Here's Reeves. Outside Russell. James up top. Fades away. Kept alive. Stolen by Bain. The drive by Brooks. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Pass to Reeves. Wide open look. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis. Seeing the floor and making the right decision. Bain finds Jackson. Offline with a three. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Outside Davis. Pass to Russell. That shot off the mark. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Here's Tillman. Checked by Davis. Bain against James. at six. Here's Jackson. And the shot goes down. I love the strength shown by Jackson there. Refusing to let the defense have the last word. The Lakers have gone four of eight and looking in control. James outside. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. The Grizzlies pull it in. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. They were out-hustled on the boards the last time these teams met. Yeah, and that turned the tide, the rebounding differential. They've got to focus and make it a team effort to really pound the glass. The Lakers in the lead. It's James on the wing. Brooks defending. And that one's good. Is always worried about LeBron driving, so it allows him to have the space he needs and wants for his mid range game. Brooks, the pass to Moran. Over James. Moran, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Here's Vanderbilt. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And we've heard That's LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. Second and this team. Lakers franchise certainly has that That's same approach. That but aside from Jared the 2020 title, there's been a lot Taking of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? Drops the first. Yeah, and we hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. And Vanderbilt drops them both. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. The NBA, and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. 
if the front office makes the right moves, which they have in the last few years, they could be hanging up some banners very soon. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Excellent D there from Jackson. And here's Bain. Left side, Moran. Jackson, right side. Shoots over Davis. No, sir. Don't bring that in here. AD having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. And James gets it to go. Memphis has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Outside Bain. Back to Moran. Hachimura against Jackson. Outside Bain. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Moran, after missing his first attempt, now one for two. So good at taking what the D gives him. Moran, keeping the game simple. Pass to Reeves. Now here's Russell. Good on the step back jumper. Russell's got six points. And credit his teammates for feeding him all time out, court. Timeout, time timeout. Time call. Memphis. You know, when D'Angelo Russell came into the league, he was really primarily seen as a point guard, and that's what I like most about him, his vision and his passing ability. But he changed that image and impression over time.
here for the Lakers. Brown, he's checked in for LeBron. And Beasley has subbed in for Reeves. Paul Dallas checked in for Memphis. Kennard comes in for Desmond Bain. Now here's Brooks. Five points in the game. Nice D from Brown. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out. You've got to pursue the ball if you want to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Moran, the pass to Brooks. Here's Aldama, checked by Davis. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. Russell, the pass to Beasley. Shoots. Davis. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Brooks. Launches a three. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds now. To the inside. And Brown, the bucket on the assist from Hachimura. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Brooks. To halt the run. Here's Jackson. And the layup falls. Jackson's got six. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. Here's Beasley. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Hachimura outside, from outside the arc. Here's Davis. And there's the bucket, staying with it that time. Offensive glass, getting it done. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Kennard against Beasley. Back to Brooks. That shot off. Nice D from Brown. But already plus five in terms of rebound margin. It's pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. And so it's Memphis with it. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. And it's blocked by Davis. Outside Russell, down low. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Kennard. And here's Jackson, Achimura covering. Jackson, the pass to Moran. The offensive rebound. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Well, the effort level they've had has been outstanding. Hard to keep a team down when they play with that much energy. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. The Lakers on top, up 19. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and for the Lakers this has been the game they wanted to have give it up for their D they're battling communicating and coming up with key stops they've got them rattled it's only the first quarter and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game on the court right now for the Grizzlies Bain and Brooks out on the wing then there's Tyus Jones then it's Jackson and it's Aldama in at the four Takes one from 10 feet, misses off the right iron. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and it's certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Now, here is James. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Out of bounds, as Los Angeles keeps possession. 
Checking in for the Grizzlies, Luke Kennard. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time defense. And the league saw a dramatic rise in the number of take fouls to stop the fast break. Clark was the time right to make the change. No doubt about it, VA. Anything that slows down the game in an artificial manner needs to be eliminated from the game. So I think it was overdue, but the fact that they got to this point is good. Now here's Jones. Shoots over Schroeder. Jones misses. Hachimura outside. Finished off by Davis. Things really rolling for AD now. This could be a big night for him. On the wing, Jones. Covered by Schroeder. And another miss by Memphis. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Inside. And Davis slams it home. He's able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now here's Bain. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Aldama. Russell against Bain. Over Russell. Offensive board. Here's Aldama. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. This is again now 0 for 3. The Lakers have gone 3 of 5 since the beginning of the second. Pass to Schroeder. Knocked away. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Jones with the ball. Now Kennard, checked by James. Here's Aldama, six to shoot. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first. It's on LeBron James. First team. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. They've really been pushing that thing in the open floor. And so far, the opposition has not been able to slow them down at all. And another area of strength has been their offensive rebounding, converting a lot of those second chances. So hits one and misses one at the line. Perhaps the biggest surprise in the league last year, the Lakers missing the playoffs. Before the season, lots of people had them winning it all. Now here's Kennard. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Rejected by James. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. And a disappointing 2021-22 season for the Lakers, Clark. What went wrong? Well, they just couldn't stay healthy, B.A., and we know that's such a critical component when you're talking about trying to win it all. I mean, you got to be healthy. Injuries to LeBron and A.D., they missed a combined 78 games. You're not winning anything when your top players don't play at least 80% of your game. You're not gonna, it's not happening. Uh, that's almost a full season missed between those two guys. And so when you're older, sometimes the injury bugaboo can jump up and bite you. You sure got the Lakers last season. The Lakers have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Pass to Reeves. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Bain. Here's Jones. Here's Aldama. Fades. Rebound by the Lakers. Brown's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. When he's determined to stay after. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. 
Timeout time call. Time Memphis. Call Protecting Memphis. the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Welcome to the floor, the legendary, fantastic Laker girl. against James. Pass to Aldama. Back to Brooks. No good that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Oh, Guys, that's what it is. I mean, they've been absolutely well, dominant. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Here's Jones following the score by the Lakers. To the paint. Down to five on the shot clock. Schroeder against Jones. Schroeder passes to James. Outside, Brown. There's the triple. The Grizzlies pull it in. To the middle. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. James, outside. Back to Schroeder. Pass to James. And there's the call on Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Brooks. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was Second moving at the ball. point of contact. Those are always really tough to judge, but I think John the official got that one right. Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. Here's Gabriel. Great D that time from Bain. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter, but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line. Now, here is James. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Minnesota. And he really contributed on defense. Brought the intimidation with two big blocks. Brooks outside. Pass to Moran. And Morant is a natural leader, someone who wants to get his guys involved when they're open. Here's Reeves. And here's Brown. And there's James from the arc. No luck on that one. 
LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a pretty big hole. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense, they need stops, and then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. The Lakers with the ball after the basket by Memphis. Man, that assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size, Clark. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only <laughs> player taller than LeBron to lead the league in the system, Will Chamberlain, when you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been Bronze finest season. Right, the Lakers call timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Gabriel. Vanderbilt comes in for Brown. Achimura has checked in for James. And Beasley has subbed in for Reeves. All alone from mid-range. you got to think he's kicking himself. Brooks with it. Hachimura covering. Schroeder against Brooks. Shots good by Schroeder. So crafty and clever at finishing inside. Schroeder doesn't lack confidence trying to get it up and down from this area. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. I love it. Making their own luck. You don't want to let off the gas with the lead. Continue to make things happen. Here's Brooks. Tipped away. That shot missing. Hachimura with the defensive effort. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. The Grizzlies shooting 35% in the second so far. Pass to Brooks. Now Jones. Inside. Here's Tillman. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Lakers ball. Russell's checked in for the Lakers. Your Lakers. D'Angelo Russell. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. He shoots. Offensive rebound. Davis. And that one's good. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Well, Davis, one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA, showing you great effort that time. Stolen by Davis. Here's Hachimura. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Rui Hachimura at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. He hits the second from the line. A challenging stretch here for Memphis. Brooks outside. Pass to Jones. Puts up a three. Knocks down the long J. Jones has got five points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Watching Burrow from long range. Here's Davis, second chance effort. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Xavier Tillman, his third personal foul. The fourth team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis. 
At the line for one. You know, in this 21st century version of the NBA, just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. Davis with the defensive effort. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. We've got 123 left to play in the first half. That one goes in. Boy, Russell loves to take and make these quick trigger shots. He plays with a nice rhythm and flow to his game. Now here's Moran. Pass to Jackson. 4-3. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got his fifth rebound in this one. On the wing, Davis. From down in the low post, it goes. Davis has got 11 points in the quarter. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Outside Jones. Pass to Brooks. Looking to end the run. Knocks down the triple. Brooks has got 10 points in the game. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Russell, the pass to Beasley. Hachimura with the ball. Down low, Davis. Outside for Russell. This one for three. Here's Davis. Outside Russell. Fires the three. And Morant clears the board. And over Russell, and he sinks out, one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. He's got six. Yeah, the quickness of Morant makes him tough to cover. He's able to pull up on a moment's That's notice. And so it's Pulling Anthony forward. Davis. The Lakers, 57. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 35. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny, and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 22 points, two block shots, and a monster amount of rebounds. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? The main story here, their offensive rebounds. They've worked so hard for extra possessions, superior effort, and that's given them the upper hand. Paid off on the score. Shaq, your take on Memphis. We're not shooting it well so far. Actually, that's some terrible. Well, fellas, I got an idea for you. Feed the post. Let the big man eat. Peace. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. LeBron James out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Anthony Davis. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Right side, Russell. Pass to Reeves. Fires for three. That shot's good. Russell making the play. He has seven. 
look at Russell, one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Here's Tillman, checked by Davis. Fader on the way. Here's Baines. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kinds of aggressive plays coaches love to see. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Drops them both. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Outside Russell. Pass to Reeves. Back to Russell. Oh, deflected. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Tillman. And another miss by Memphis. Oh, man. He can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now here's Vanderbilt. Over to the wing. Russell from outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Well, Russell is so smooth. He's got deceptive length, which allows him to get those shots off behind the arc. Moran, the pass to Bain. That's tipped. By Vanderbilt. The finish! And Vanderbilt slams it in. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Moran. Give him eight. Jackson, right side. Shot clock at six. the inside and he goes strong with the one-handed jam adding to his game over time when Jackson spots his open teammates like this the offense runs much smoother the son of an NBA player Jaron Jackson Jr. I actually played a bit with his dad Jaron Sr. in Orlando back in the early 2000s which means I'm old Davis finds James from deep Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got six rebounds in the game. Their first missed after hitting three straight shots, but I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. On the wing, Brooks. Checked by James. James against Brooks. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got his 16th rebound on the night. And the Jacksons, just the latest father-son NBA duo. Lots of great ones there, Greg. So true, B.A. The Curry family might be the best ever. The Berries, including our own colleague, Brett. The Thompsons with Clay in the league currently. Just some incredible NBA families to admire. Here's Bain. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Jackson. It's good. Jaren Jackson. Jackson's got eight. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Pass to Vanderbilt. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Grant, of the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. I tell you what, guys, nobody's been more physical in this game than he has. He 
has been a glass eater. A good look from Bain. Rebound, the Lakers. You know, the scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. And he's going for the oop here. And Vanderbilt slams it in. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendous, talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. Back to Moran. On the wing, Bain. He has six. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Both shots good from the strike. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Now here's Russell. He's got 14. Pass to Reeves. Plenty of space. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got three assists now in this one. For Memphis, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Moran. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. A unique talent. Ja Moran has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet each explosive athlete's at the one position. Both Ja and Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Los Angeles has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Right side, Davis. Takes a turnaround, Jay. It's rebounded by Memphis. Baines got a seventh rebound here tonight. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain, to the paint. Here's James. Tries again. And it's good on the land. James has got 10 points in the game. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. They've also been showing a standout play on the fast break, working as a team to create easy opportunities. Now, here is James. He's got 10. Back to Russell. Rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Bain, the pass to Moran. Vanderbilt pulls it in. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. And finished off by Davis. Oh boy, looks like he was injured there. Yeah, so tough. I mean, guys, I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries Grizzlies might show up. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Aldama's checked in for Tillman. Kennard comes in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Moran. And here's Jackson. Give him eight. Outside Bain. Pass to Aldama. The ball's knocked loose. Jackson. He can't get it to go. 
Davis with the defensive effort. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Some changes now for the Lakers. Hachimura has checked in for Vanderbilt. Brown comes in for LeBron. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. Tillman's checked in for Memphis. So he gets them both. Here's Jones. He's got five. Kennard outside. Back to Jones. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Reeves. And count it. Now five for seven. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Odama. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To win the drought. And it's blocked by Davis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Here's Jones, and can't hit the shot, but they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the line. That's his first that one on Schroeder. The fourth team ball. Shooting for Memphis, Tyus Jones. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Jones. Hits them both. Schroeder with it. Outside, Brown. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Reeves. Now here's Schroeder. Five on the clock. Down low. Here's Brown. And the shot goes. Boy, Brown's got his second bucket. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Now here's Bain. Give him eight. Shoots over Davis. And Davis with the block. Pass to Brown. Let's go with a three. The shot comes out. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Here's Bain. And the lamp is good off the glass. Bain's got eight points in the quarter. It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. Here's Reeves. Over Bain. The shot by Reeves, no good. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Here's Jones. Bain. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Jackson, he's checked in for Tillman. In transition, here they come. Count it, good. Well, when you're careless with the ball, that's what happens. It ends up going the other direction. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. And the Lakers with possession here, following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Outside, Brown. Pass to Reeves. Fires from deep. 
count that one. He's scoring in a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. The ideal pass for that situation. Great instincts. Now Jones. Kennard on the wing. Defended by Brown. Back to Jones. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Brown. Davis with it. He's picked up by Bain. Reeves. Off target from three-point range. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Pass to Jones. And down it goes. Nine Nine points. Points. Jones has got nine points. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And I agree, I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Beasley outside. Pass to Achimura. Outside, Brown. Launches it. Doesn't go that time. And it's Memphis the other way. Outside Jones. Over Schroeder. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. An active finisher around the basket. Jackson showed great timing on the putback. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Who poked away. Jones against Schroeder. Pass to Bain. Rebounded by the Lakers. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. From P. Obama. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. Free throw good. Hachimura. Rui Hachimura. Two shots. off on the second in transition here they come from deep vein Ooh, he released it in time but it's off the mark and so it's los angeles firmly in control with an impressive 28 point lead as the quarter ends their efficiency has been off the charts they're running their sets well with patience and purpose all right stick around we'll be right back after this it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Pass to Brown. And when you're inside an NBA locker room, how important are those vets to guide a team, Clark? NBA, I can't put a value on the importance of quality vets who demonstrate day in and day out what it means to be a professional who perform on and off the court in a way 
commiserate with being a stand-up leader. I mean, they're invaluable. There aren't teams that are successful in the NBA that don't have veterans that lead by example and with their words. Santi Aldama, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been good, around 52% from the field. Side, Brown. Back to Schroeder. Beyond the arc. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got three assists in the game. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line. Not to it. Keep the pressure on. Second team ball. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Ooh, that one makes him seven for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Taking the hit and still getting it to go down. Russell. Showing you some nice toughness there. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. And this is exactly what you love to see. Up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Now here's Kennard. Five to shoot. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his third foul so far. And Grant, as NBA players start to have more of a platform, we still hear those who say, shut up and dribble. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's silly and it's unfortunate. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. But players today, matter of fact, everybody today has a voice through their social media channels. And it just so happens that NBA players have large platforms that reach people all over the world. They don't expect the players to be anything other than themselves. There are very few players in the class of Anthony Davis. I mean, he is a franchise cornerstone, no question about it. Checked by Davis to the inside. Nice shot by Kennard. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Pass to Schroeder. Second shot opportunity. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot out. And some changes here for the Lakers. Vanderbilt's checked in for Achimura. James comes in for Brown. And Reeves is subbed in for Russell. Free throws good for Schroeder. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B, I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. The Grizzlies have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Outside Jones. Kennard on the wing from deep. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis is... They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? 
And there's James from the arc. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 drives. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. You know the coaches hated that shot. But guess what? Some of them go in. Back to Schroeder. Right side Vanderbilt. And out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Conchar's checked in. John Conchar. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Jones against Schroeder. You look at players migrating to bigger markets. Clark, would a franchise tag help small market teams retain talent? You know, I don't think it's as simple as that, VA. Each individual player looks at things a bit differently. I know it's a challenge for small market teams. It always has been. But some guys are comfortable being one-team guys in small markets as long as they feel like that team is pushing towards being the best that he can be and having a chance to compete at the, at the high the level. Tyus Jones oh, at the line for two. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Jones. And he makes both free throws. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. Pass to Davis. This James on the wing. And slam dunk by James. You know, really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance. I mean, especially in these sets. So it's the Grizzlies now. When you joined the NBA in 1982, there were around 300 players. Nowadays, it's over 500. Yeah, you know, some would argue that's more opportunities, which is factual, but also others would say it's a little watered down now. But there are more good players, so I think it's basically an expansion of the talent level we see across the world. And the world is where the game is played, and that continues to be demonstrated by the number of international players that continue to make a mark on the NBA. So overall, I think it's a good thing to see the number of players expand at the NBA level. No good there. Davis with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And there's James on the assist by Davis. Davis has got three assists in the game. Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Out to the right wing. Pass to Conchar. Just five to shoot. Driving in. Davis with a rebound. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Here's Reeves. And it's all from three-point range. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Pass to Conchar. Good D by Vanderbilt. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. James can't get it to go. Here's Conchar, checked by James. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Uh, you know, B.I., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. Hachimura has checked in for Los Angeles. Russell comes in for Schroeder. From downtown.
Shot is good by Reeves. He's got 19. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Outside Jones. Pass to Conchar. And here they come. And there's the lob. And slam dunk by James. Superb timing by LeBron on that alley -oop. Here's Conchar. Back to Jones. Shot clock at five. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by James. Los Angeles has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Russell. The three is up. But that falls. Nice feed that time from James. Russell's got 19 points. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Here's Conchar. And the play-in tournament has been a success, but some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. You know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. Outside Jones. Pass to Conchar. To the left wing. Here's the teardrop. The Lakers with a rebound. Now Russell. James outside. Back to Russell. Can't get it to fall. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jones. Stays with it and hits the off-balance shot. Jones has got four points in the quarter. Los Angeles has gone 4 of 6 from deep thus far in the fourth. James, outside. Pass to Russell. And here's James. From the wing. And no good. The Grizzlies shooting only 29% on this one. Not great. Rebounded by the Lakers. Hachimura's got seven rebounds in the game. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Lakers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. Ooh. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. Yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And for the year, this will be the third win in four games against this team. They really brought it tonight. And you could see how badly they wanted this win. For two very familiar opponents, a win in the season series really carries an awful lot of extra weight. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Anthony Davis. Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Austin Reeves. Two shots. The first one falls for him. Williams has checked in for Memphis. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jones against Russell. Pass to Williams. Five on the clock. Off target with the three. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Now here's Russell.
Lakers taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? LeBron, that was an impressive win. What did it take to get it done tonight? It's a really good team that we're playing. They're very resilient, just like us. They play together, they play hard, they play tough. So we had to bring that fight tonight. You brought it, it paid off. Congrats. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. So long, everyone.